We actually have Cher in our audience who has a question. Hi, Cher. Hi, Travis. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Well, you know, in my profession, I'm constantly wearing heels. And recently, I've been experiencing a lot of foot pain, specifically in my heel. So, and it radiates up the back of my leg, actually, all throughout my leg at times. And so I went to my doctor, and all he spoke about was my back and lower back pain. And I didn't understand the association. Can you enlighten me? Well, I'm going to assume without doing a physical exam, taking a full history, that your doctor was referring to probably sciatic nerve pain. He did mention uh, that. Sciatic nerve, longest nerve in the body. And what happens is, let me ask you this. At work, are you constantly moving around, bending, and... and... Yes. Okay. Bending, walking, standing. At every level of your spinal column, you have what's called nerve roots. And in your lower back, these nerve roots combine to form the sciatic nerve, which travels all the way around from your, from your lower back all the way down your leg, innervates your entire leg and your foot. Now, if one of these nerve roots is impinged, say with a slipped disc or herniated disc, anything's impinging on one of these nerve roots, what it's going to do is it's going to create a lot of pain, maybe not where it's occurring, but where that nerve root goes. So you can actually experience pain all the way down your leg and even feel some, some pain and numbness because of what's going on here in your lower back, because that's where the nerve starts. Okay. And, and typically it's described as an electric shooting-like pain, and it can kind of go down the back. That's what it feels like. And it does get numb sometimes, so. I have to tell you this, though. If you wear heels a lot, you're not All doing yourself any favors because you also are likely experiencing a little bit of localized foot pain as well. Um, one of the things you can do for this, number one, if it persists or you have any weakness or numbness, you know, you, ne you need to, to get further evaluated. Uh, but usually conservative measures will take care of a lot of this. In most people, one of the stretches you can do for your hamstrings, it's pretty simple. I feel like I'm in gym class. <laughs> but, but put your feet out straight in front of you just like this, and you're just going to do a slow, gentle, keeping, you want to keep this nice and straight in your back. And you're going to kind of lean over, and clearly I'm not very flexible right now. <laughs> I can touch my toes, see? <laughs> and you're just going to reach forward and hold it for about 10 seconds. Do this after you've warmed up. And the whole idea is, again, you want to do some stretches. You want to do, you can use anti-inflammatories. And most of the time, in many cases, this will get better on its own. Oh, well, hopefully that helps because the heels are staying on. And do, can you, <laughs> really? Yes. Can you maybe, like, change them in and out? No chance? No. All right. Well, but thanks, thank Sheriff, for asking the question.